Welcome back, guys. <coughs> Just defeated Vamp. So we're going to continue from there. Ooh. That's what I needed. Oh, uh, looks like more swimming coming up, huh? Swimming, swimming. I look at the book first. I think this is her. <laughs> oh. Are you all right? Who are you? Ryden, I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> I think you need Get a hug, out. Yeah, she You're just peed on the floor. Why are you taking me this time? Much what are you like... talking about? I'm here to help. Much like in the first game. Here. Autocon teed in the first game. Do you game. have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on. We have to get moving. This place will be flooded soon. right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later, but first we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! 
swim. You can do it. I can't. Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep my eyes open in the water. The endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma, just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two, then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, you'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. Well, what will you do then? I'll swim faster. Aww. Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait. <laughs> what is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? Huh? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I liked who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Okay, let's go. to the computer room on B2 of Shell 1's core. She can launch the virus that you receive from the president. It's the only way to stop Arsenal here. The flooding is getting worse. Go back to filter chamber number two where Vamp was before the area is completely underwater. Move. Yeah, we're working. Take Emma and go to strut L. There's a ladder down onto the oil fence on the ocean surface from that strut. Alright. Oh, wait. Jack, do you need to say it?
You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Ba-ding, ba-ding. Ba-ding, ba-ding. Ryden, what's your status? Colonel? I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Ryden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. Ah, uh, good job. Shell One's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> Here she is. How? Uh, EE, is that you? How? EE. Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? <laughs> you knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? Uh, I, I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right, that's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Ryden, get her over here right now. I... I... Do it. Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Ryden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there.
Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. I've got this disc that the president gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... this is my program. What? Why did the president give it to you? Hmm? Did something happen to the president? Dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW's cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The President said that Arsenal Gear was the Patriots' key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? Let, let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000. Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammocks. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? Huh. I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. 
It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? <laughs> Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh, Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. My bird in the computer room! Is he safe? That noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered like chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, he already knew she was smart. It's not like that was a revelation. But I guess culturally smart. As opposed to just folk smart. Thank you. 
open your eyes. Emma! Emma! I'm used to it with aiming, but with swimming it was like difficult for me, but I think most of the swimming's done now.
your control extends. I don't really know, but it probably influences a lot of what goes on in our everyday lives. Even mundane things like which movies and songs become a hit and what kind of clothes we wear? And taste would be the easiest thing to manipulate. I mean, think about the kinds of film and bands everyone wants to go to see. It's whatever's at the top of the charts. And if the charts are made up... Exactly. But you can't really control individual taste. It's too closely tied to personality. I don't know about that. Trends have always been about following the leader. Not necessarily. The age of direct personal interaction is over. So is the idea of word of mouth communication. Look, you have any friends you've met online? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. How many? Well, if you count only the ones I talk to a lot, I'd say about 20. How many of those have you actually met? <laughs> One or two tops. Uh-huh. That's how it is for everyone, I guess. And even if your online buddies had fake identities and were circulating false information, you would have no way of knowing. Fake identities? Right. And there'd be no way for you to know for sure. Well, what about people who do meet face-to-face -face, then? Like us. Us? Have you ever really shown me the real you? I wouldn't even know the real me myself. But you're being honest with yourself now. Well, that's how I see it. Well, how am I being honest? Well, I've never seen you show so much feeling, fear, anger, even a kind of giddiness. It may seem a strange thing to say, but you're living out loud for the first time that I've seen. I'm just trying to get the job done. This is war, you know. I do know that. I'm just saying you're different from your usual restrained self. What about you, then? I always want to be open with you as much as I can. All right, cut in your guest.